Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Teorema, the infamous 1968 classic directed by Pier Paolo Pasolini, which competed at the Venice Film Festival, uh, where Laura Betty was uh, honored with the Best Actress win. Uh, she plays the maid, Amelia. Uh, so this was uh, long denounced by the Catholic Church, of course. The Pope had all kinds of terrible things to say about it. Um, <clears throat> and Pasolini was uh, eventually charged with indecency, which uh, those charges were dropped. Uh, and of course, if if you've seen some of Pasolini's later works, this really seems like uh, not that big a deal. Uh, in short, it's about an interloper. It's about a, a strange visitor. Is he an angel or a devil? Played by Parent Stamp, who uh, proceeds to sleep with all the members and the maid of uh, an industrialist uh, Milanese family, and then when he leaves, throws them into existential crisis and despair because they realize their lives are empty. Um, Pasolini's own comments about the film are contradictory uh, concerning what exactly is going on here. Uh, clearly, it could be called a Marxist fable, metaphor, uh, or just an, an anti-bourgeois film, uh, although uh, using contemporary, more contemporary language we'd probably call it, say, anti-elitist or uh, like the anti-one-percenters. Uh, an excellent cast comprises Silvana Mangano as Lucia, Massimo Garotti as Paolo, the patriarch, um, the maid Laura Betty, uh, and Andre Jose Cruz plays their son, it's an actor who would only go on to do one or two other things, his last film being a Corbucci film called The Specialist in 1969, and of course uh, Anne Wyszemski who uh, was in Bresson's uh, Al Hassar Balthazar uh, in a Marco Ferreri film of the period called Seed of Man, which also puts her in a position where she's got to go through lots of trials and travails. Uh, Pasolini's usual muse, Nanetto Davoli, uh, is uh, the angel, angelic messenger who announces the arrival and departure of Terence Stamp. Um, and uh, that, yeah, it, it's just a film that uh, it only has 923 words, uh, as is, was used as part of the marketing material, uh, and most of those come in a flurry of exchanges in the first uh, the opening minutes, uh, where the question is posed, is whatever the bourgeois do wrong? And it would seem that Pasolini thinks, yes, yes, they, that's true. Uh, it, this is part of Pasolini's mythical cycle, which includes Medea and Oedipus Rex. Uh, Mangano also, of course, appeared in Oedipus Rex along with Laura Betty. Um, it's either, it's, this is an art house film with a capital A, and you will either love this kind of thing or hate it. Uh, Takashi Miike loosely remade the film in 2001 as Visitor Q, which is very ugly film, I, I believe, shot on digital, and I, I think you could be, uh, draw similarities with Adam Wingard's 2014 film, The Guest, which is a Carpenter-esque uh, kind of remake, but it has a lot of themes similar to this. Uh, Criterion's new 4K transfer has a lot of extra features on it, including an alternate English dubbed soundtrack, uh, which includes the actual voice of Terrence Stamp, uh, audio commentary from Robert S. Gordon, who wrote the uh, Pasolini uh, Forms of Subjectivity. Uh, there's a 1969 intro filmed by Pasolini himself. There's a 2007 Terrence Stamp interview and an interview with John David Rhodes, who wrote uh, Stupendous Miserable City, Pasolini's Rome. I would give Teorema, one of my favorite Pasolini films, four and a half out of five stars, and Criterion's release, four and a half out of five as well. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.